Welcome to Sweet Scoots, my fellow riders. We we're getting ready to paint the jug and the cylinder head. All with wrinkle black. Then I'm going to share with you how to highlight the edges of the fins. First thing you're going to do is warm the engine up just a little bit so you get it about 100 to 120 degrees, somewhere in that range. And you're good. Now, the key to this, of course, is taping off everything you don't want to have wrinkle paint on. Then spray the whole area down with your 99%. All the tools will be in the show more of the video's description. If you can't find the show more, let us know. It will hook you up. So, we're using the wrinkle black. It's all grease free right now. There's no grease on it. We're just going to put a coat on it while it's slightly warm. Looks better already. Now you can do this with any, any motor. We're just going to do this side so you can get an idea. Like I said, anything you do not want black, you better make sure you cover it. Now with the engine being warm, it will start to do its thing. And we like to speed it up with our handy dandy heat gun. Now we'll focus in on this area right here so you can see it. Now watch the transformation. You don't get it real hot. You just keep it warmed up. We like it about maybe 150, 160. Use your temp gauge to make sure you're not getting it too hot. So you just do that. Check it once in a while. Watch that wrinkle right up. Move it around, hit the rest of the area. By warming the motor up, you help yourself out a lot with this process. You can make any ugly looking motor look better. We're going to do two coats on this. If it doesn't wrinkle up on you, you did not put enough paint on. All right, it's starting to go. You see that? Let's put some light on it for you. See that wrinkle? Isn't that beautiful? All we did is clean it with 99%. I'll show you what it looks like with just one coat. Now we'll check our temp. We're right around 160. Looking better. See that wrinkle up right when I put the heat on it? There's a certain point where it just goes. Starts wrinkling. Now we're going to do another coat. Now we're going to put it on heavier. Hit it with the heat gun again. As I said, Whatever you cover with tape, you don't want paint on, that's your job. Make sure you do that. You can see it's starting to wrinkle again. Don't keep it on one area too long. Keep moving it. When it's not shiny anymore, you know that it's wrinkled out. Isn't that gorgeous? There's some areas still drying, but like I said, you can do as many coats as you want. Let's take a look at the other side so you get an idea. From that to that. Now I'll show you how to fin it. Now just remember, Sweet Scoots is here for you. That's our job, is to try to give you trick and cool ways to do things. So now what you'll do, you'll let this dry about 12 hours. If you can move it out in the sun, that's great. Let it really cure up good. But we're going to zoom in here a little bit for you. And I'll show you how you do this. After 12 hours, you take your Dremel, about 1,000 RPM to 1,500 RPM. And all you do is go over the fin like this. Of course, you'll do it when it's dry. This isn't dry.
When it's dry, it'll come right off there real nice. And how cool that's going to look when it's all done. We'll do every fin on there.